pacing folks, how are you doing? Use your force. Positive mental attitude. You know how we do. So, uh, happy Sunday to you all. Hope you're well. Um, so, my watch history yesterday is very interesting. I came across... Um, I came across someone, first of all, called Yanis Varoufakis. Varoufakis, Varoufakis. I'm not sure. He's like a... Um, a greek politician but he's massively involved in european politics uh and he has interviews with well i think he's done work with jeremy corbyn he's quite you know he's active you know he's an active person he's on the greek government he's in you know europe talking with people and uh and what i was really pleased to what I was really pleased about was that the idea I had about uh, about the idea I had about a document to unify people. They're doing it. <laughs> they're doing it now. I've got a couple of questions, and uh, you know, I haven't even they've got like, online forums. I haven't got involved yet, but it's. DM25, which is D-I-E-M 25 on YouTube, online. Um, I can't, but it's very interesting. It's very interesting because obviously I want change. And, you know, I don't believe that mindless rebellion, and I don't mean to say that in a bad way. So let's put it in another way. I don't think that standard rebellion is a good idea because what i can see happening and what normally happens through what i've seen through history right is that basically as a general the, a lot of people come together because they're pissed off about something or they want something to change and they march and you know they try and get the system to change it i mean I don't, I don't know, right? I'm new to, to it all. I've always wanted everything to change. I've just never tried to get involved. So, um, but I'm interested, but obviously I think leaders are a problem. I think leaders are a big problem where, where you've got a system that can generate power over other people, I think singular people are a massive problem i don't think that should happen so but um you know maybe this is something they've spoken about you know they've been going for a few years um you know as i said he was involved in i'd never heard jeremy jeremy corbyn speak you know i'd never heard jeremy corbyn speak i'd never i'd heard like maybe a couple of words in passing where i was like passing or something and i heard his voice or, or something but no wonder no wonder he done so well I mean, he doesn't talk like a politician. <laughs> he talks like a normal guy. He talks like a normal person, right? Like any of us. Like, doesn't talk like some posh, privileged toff who just, with no disrespect to anyone who's rich or wealthy or any of that, there's a, there's a bit... When I use a word like toff, unfortunately, it has a negative connotation to it, so I'm sorry, but it... It is merely referring to the people that are schooled and trained to end up in positions of power. And their attitude is as such. They look down on people. You know, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. So, Jeremy Corbyn, yeah, I was really, really, really like, wow, yeah, right. He's a good speaker. He's a good speaker. Um, but you know, he got shafted, didn't he? You know, because the government corruption that clearly isn't there. Got into him, didn't they? They spread smear stories about him. I mean, I knew more about him before I heard him speak. Because I'd like, you know, come across his brother a while back. And, uh, and and just sort of through looking into people that are looking for change. You know, his name was coming across and, you know, I'd heard that, you know, he'd been active in activism for a long time. Uh, 
So it's interesting because this DM25 is basically like an international group. And one of the things that he suggested, one of many, this guy I watched, I don't know how many videos yesterday, several hours worth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 most of them around an hour, some pushing two, some just under, so it was, uh, it was, it was good watching, um, and, uh, yeah, one of the things he said yesterday was like, you know, it's having, and, and I say said yesterday, this is probably something he said a long time ago, right, I watched it yesterday, <laughs> and he was just saying how, you know, because uh, he was talking to Corbyn, and he was saying, you know, because these people are, like, they call themselves lefties, which to me, I just don't, this is one of the things I don't like about politics is this left and right, this blah, 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 this fake democracy, like a real democracy, you don't need left and right, you need critical thinking, right, you need objective, uh, objectivity, you need you know, transparency. That's what we need. Uh, I mean, these people seem keen on transparency, um, you know, on having people from both the left and the right, male and female. It's really about, you know, it, it, I mean, it's very interesting. It's very interesting. And uh, so that's um, Yanis Varoufakis. Sorry, if I'm butchering that name. It's, you know, dickhead <laughs> um yeah dm25 very interesting i went and signed up to their newsletter last night um they want to create change from inside the system not so keen on that um i understand it it makes sense you know, to some degrees, but I think the reason it makes sense in my head is to the same reasons why it also makes sense not to. But, and that simply would be that, um, I lost my flow there. I started thinking about two other things that I wanted to say after this. <laughs> um, Yeah, so they want to change it from inside. You know, and I, c I can see that. I guess, you know, you need to be actively doing, right? And this is, this is why I'm now taking the steps I'm taking, because it's all well and good talking about things, right? And I want to raise awareness, and I'll continue to do that. But it's not enough, right? You know, I need to be actively involved in in spending my time, as much of it, aimed at healthy change and healthy ways of getting to that. Um, you know, which obviously I've, I've got my own views on, but they're not necessarily dead certain. They're not necessarily right. But, you know, I'm not thoughtless. So I have got to this point for a reason. So um, I'm interested in them. I'm interested in them. Um you know, the guy's, you know, he's a former, like, teacher, but, you know, he's done much from, you know, um, a kind of... So, oh, there we go. There we go. Um, very, very well informed. Very, very well informed. And then, like... Sometimes the way he talks about COVID, it's it's either like, you know, he's just sure this is going to pass over soon without too much drama. Um, and also sometimes, you know, sometimes it, the way he's talking, it almost feels like he doesn't really buy the mass dramatisation of it all. Because, you know, what the media spreads and what the numbers are are different. 
The media is making it out like literally this is fucking super spreader, super dangerous. The science and the numbers are not actually matching that same narrative. So, but, you know, and also just the huge amounts of flaws around it. And also, I thought, like, I remember, like, early back, and, like, because they were talking about, you know, how COVID was hitting different places and blah, blah. And they were talking about, just so candidly, like, you know, it's a different strain there and it's a different strain there. And I'm just like, really? I don't know, man. All I've seen, that doesn't seem... I, d it, I didn't know anything when I first heard it, right? And then I was thinking about something the other day and I heard something and I was like, it doesn't seem to make sense. Like, I'm not saying, right, that I know. I'm just, questions, right? Question everything, right? Don't just fucking follow the narrative, right? But, it, you know, and, and so then if you see, in, you know, anything that doesn't add up, you can ask questions about it and then it'll either add up in your head because you'll gain some knowledge you didn't know before that gives you insight or you'll gain more knowledge that mean you know that makes you realise, oh, my gut feeling was right here. Something's definitely up. So this Yanis Barafalkis was very like, yeah, you know, obviously lockdown. I get it. We need to do it. Right. Why? That's what I want to know. I want to know why he thinks. Why he thinks lockdown is justified, warranted. And why all the measures are justified and warranted. Uh, I mean, he's an e uh, economist. He knows that the economy will be flaky and has been for a long time. And I've heard him talk on it. So, and I know he talks on why. You know, he's not shy of knowing that the bankers are a problem, but he's also not shy of, you know, like, uh, what's the hashtag? Uh, make Amazon pay. Make Amazon pay. Hashtag, hash, hashtag, hashtag, make Amazon pay, right? And it's basically about just pay tax, you scumbags. Like Jeff Bezos, fair play to him. And I like the way this guy puts it because he's not about attacking people, right? You should be able to make money and succeed, right? And do well. But you should pay the taxes to the country that you're using the people in, right? And especially when it's, you know, the conditions aren't as good as they could be because you're a very quick growing company that obviously cares about your overheads and your profits. So, you know, you've got to pay your taxes. If everyone chips in, if everyone chips in to a society, that's a society worth chipping into. But while you've got the politicians letting the corporate moguls get away with blue bloody murder, it's like, why the fuck should we chip into your system? You want to keep giving us the illusion that this is ours, but you are screwing us. The NHS has been screwed for years. And you watch how much they privatise it after all this, right? Like, let's not forget what the government have been doing to the NHS, to all our services, selling it off. Who owns the water, the French? Who owns the train lines? It's not the English. And I'm not patriotic, but I'm about community. So to me, England is a community. Right, and if we're all chipping into it, I don't give a fuck what part of the world you come from. If you come here, chip in. Right? If I come to you, I should chip in, right? Like, I just think it, it we, I don't there's no need for things to be so overly complicated, right? But it's made that way for a fucking reason. Right? Because the people at the top want to stay at the top and they want to keep their power. And it's understandable. Right? We live in a hierarchical structure. This isn't a conspiracy. Do you know what I mean? But I'm sick of it. It sucks a dick. There's too many things in this day and age that should already have been in place. The fact that Nikola Tesla was creating energy that could have been free to the world, but which would have abolished any type of hard living for anyone. It would have put the base plate rate of living like... And he created all this te technology by 1900, 1910. So, you know, they're shafting us. We've got to go. Use a force. Positive mental attitude. Be calm your thoughts to yourselves like you would others. Keep loving your hearts for yourselves like you would others. And let's get it. Get what, John? Awareness, of course. Peace in.